As if earning all the money wasn't enough, they've also got our adoration. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 billion dollar box office movies. For this list, we're looking at films that crossed the billion dollar threshold at the global box office and ranking them on their overall quality. Just like before, we'll be adjusting for inflation so as to give older films a chance for qualification. Because it's much more difficult to account for worldwide grosses in so many different currencies, note that the figures we're using are the best estimates we've been able to calculate based on what information is available. It's up, we got a bogey on our six. What does that even mean? Back guys behind us. We just say that. Number 20, Captain America Civil War. Whether you want to call it Captain America 3 or Avengers 2.5, it's tough denying how hard hitting and deeply personal of a superhero film it is. We may not be perfect, the safest hands are still our own. Pitting a slew of the MCU's finest heroes against one another, Civil War redefined what action sequences and character development can look like within the genre. Pair that with the dynamic franchise debuts from the likes of Black Panther and Spider-Man, and suddenly it's easy to see how this third entry in the Cap saga rolled its way to 10 digits at the box office. While it would be surpassed in scope very soon thereafter, even by another film on this list, it still resonates emotionally every time we watch it. He's my friend. So was I. Number 19, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Delivering one of the most epic conclusions in cinematic history, the Harry Potter series had some lofty expectations to meet going into its eighth installment. And what do you know about the Deathly Hallows? In an age where seemingly every subsequent two-part finale reeks of nothing but a mere cash grab, Deathly Hallows Part 2 justified the approach and made snatching all the box office dollars look classy. Sure, it's got one hell of a show-stopping battle sequence at the end of it, but it also manages to tie together 10-plus years of movie magic, pun intended, in a way that is both seamless and narratively satisfying. Especially for those who essentially grew up with the cast of the films, this one felt particularly special. Oh, come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Together. Number 18, Avatar. And we will show the sky people so today we do it. that they cannot take whatever they want. And that this, this is our land. Nowadays, if you want to be the highest grossing film of all time, it's almost a necessity to rely on previously established IP to get the job done. Yet that's exactly what James Cameron didn't do with Avatar, which exploded onto the movie going scene in 2009. Making technological advancements in 3D and cinematography we at the time thought years and years away, the film stunned audiences with its lavish visuals and dynamic world building. While its popularity has waned in recent years with some criticism aimed at narrative derivativeness, it can't be denied the impact it had on the industry. Plus, with four sequels mapped out to be released in relatively quick succession, we might just see the franchise's return to box office dominance. It's all over. Nothing's over while I'm breathing. Number 17, Skyfall. Where the hell have you been? Enjoying death. 007 reporting for duty. With 2006's Casino Royale, we'd already seen what a dark and gritty James Bond could look like with Daniel Craig leading the charge. It wasn't until 2012 that we saw the absolute perfection of that approach in the form of Skyfall, a stark, narratively challenging spy caper that hit closer to home than we expected. You see what comes of all this running around, Mr. Bond? All this jumping and fighting, it's exhausting. While it benefited hugely from a delectably sinister villainous turn from Javier Bardem, the film's greatest contributor comes arguably in the form of incoming franchise director Sam Mendes, who grounded yet supercharged the kinetic action scenes. Also, we're sure that Oscar-winning Adele intro song helped get some butts in seats too. Number 16, Black Panther. Sure, at this point, we expect the Avengers films and those of the MCU's flagship heroes to break a billion dollars, but Black Panther was the smash cultural sensation that few saw coming. I lived my entire life waiting for this moment. I trained, I lied, I killed, just to get here. Aside from a supporting role in the aforementioned Captain America Civil War, the title character of this entry, not to mention his esoteric milieu, had not been familiarized to audiences. That didn't stop buzz from growing exponentially, however, as Black Panther quickly established itself as an exhilarating and socially profound blockbuster the likes of which we had never seen. 
From the astounding production design to a dynamic score, the outing instantly resonated with fans, earning a whopping $700 million in North America alone. Yeah, we'd say it deserves a sequel. Just don't freeze when you see her. What are you talking about? I never freeze. Number 15, The Lion King. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Coming out in the thick of the Disney renaissance, The Lion King was following up some classics in their own rights like Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin. Yet with a dynamite voice cast and music maestro Elton John in tow, this reimagining of a Shakespeare tale set a new benchmark for animation everywhere. Everything seemed to click into place, from the music, to the sweeping visuals, to the personable characters, etc. While an ostensibly live-action remake made even more money decades later, it didn't capture our hearts quite like the original did, and technically didn't sell as many tickets. Things really did come up Hakuna Matata for Disney in 1994. Repeat after me. <coughs> Hakuna Matata. What? Hakuna Matata! It means no worries! Hakuna Matata. Number 14, Joker. The most recent film on our list, 2019's Joker smashed all barriers as to what comic book adaptations can look like and achieve. You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. Words like tense, shrewd, visceral, and horrifying can all be used to describe it, as the zeitgeist's morbid fascination with it drove it to become a surprise member of the Billion Dollar Club, earning a whopping 11 Oscar nominations at the 92nd Academy Awards, including one for Best Picture. The film divided audiences but looked oh so cool while doing it. What was seemingly universally agreed upon was Joaquin Phoenix's layered, disturbing, and unnervingly sympathetic performance in the titular role, one that won him a well-deserved golden statuette of his own. Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Number 13, The Avengers. It may seem old hat now, but the bringing together of a cinematic universe was essentially unheard of back in 2008 when a post credit scene in Iron Man teased the possibility of one. Needless to say, comic book fans were ecstatic, and their patience paid off tenfold with the release of 2012's The Avengers. That's what we call ourselves, sort of like a team. Earth's Mightiest Heroes type thing. Bringing together a sextet of superheroes after most received their own standalone film, the crossover event wowed moviegoers with its bombastic visuals and dynamic interpersonal characterizations. That's my secret, Cat. I'm always angry. Almost too big to fail, the movie altered franchise filmmaking as we know it for good, spurring studios everywhere to replicate its success to largely middling results. One thing is for certain, though. The Avengers assembled, and it was glorious. Number 12, Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Decades of visual effects innovation separating 1993's Jurassic Park from its sequels, some of which would earn a billion dollars as well, seemingly nothing will top our first encounter with dinosaurs. Filled to the brim with scientific wonder and intrigue, this adaptation of the Michael Crichton novel of the same name enchanted viewers of all ages with a palpable sense of adventure. Quickly becoming the then highest grossing film of all time, Jurassic Park pushed the boundaries of both technical achievements and narrative ones. Cementing itself as a heavyweight classic amidst a crowded Steven Spielberg filmography that's full of them. Number 11, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Speaking of Spielberg classics, the film that Jurassic Park took the ultimate box office crown from was this delightful family sci fi film about a boy who befriends a being from another world. Full of iconic moments that give us goosebumps to this day, such as the levitating bike sequence, E.T. the Extraterrestrial is both whimsical and heartfelt through and through. Not only that, it managed to make grown adults cry at the potential death of a highly emotive alien puppet who just wants to go home. If that's not emotional attachment, then we don't know what is. Number 10, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yep, for our third Steven Spielberg movie in a row, though not our last, we have 1981's Raiders of the Lost Ark, 
a swashbuckling ode to film serials of old that introduced the world to a little-known character by the name of Indiana Jones. It's important, Marion. Trust me. In all seriousness, though, if Raiders didn't invent the action-adventure genre as we know it today, it definitely perfected it. Starring Harrison Ford in what is arguably his finest role, the Indiana Jones series is the encapsulation of spirit and fun, though none more so than the first outing. Winning a whopping five Oscars, the movie is infectiously vibrant, and one that we can't help but revisit even today. Number 9. Titanic Aptly titled due to the sheer magnitude of its impact, Titanic stirred up a box office storm the likes of which the world hadn't yet seen, doubling what Jurassic Park had made just four years prior. And while we were subsequently subjected to having My Heart Will Go On stuck in our heads for the next five years, the fervor for it was right on the money. I'm the king of the Boasting jaw-dropping set pieces that stand the test of time decades later, the movie seemingly satisfied everyone with a romantic disaster story that did go on to win a record-tying 11 Oscars, including Best Picture. With that kind of passion going on both in front of and behind the cameras, it's hard to argue with those results. Promise me now, Rose. And never let go of that promise. I promise. Number 8. The Lord of the Rings – The Return of the King Once again tying the record for most Oscars comes this trilogy-capping fantasy epic from Peter Jackson. While following two equally impressive adventures that retroactively crossed the billion-dollar milestone, this one did it in its own time. Come on, Mr. Frodo. I can't carry it for you. But I can carry you! While clocking in at a whopping 201 minutes, or 252 with the extended cut, neither version feels its length when it counts, as J.R.R. Tolkien's breathtaking vision comes to a magnificent conclusion. With visual effects that would put most of today's offerings to shame, Return of the King is as epic as it gets, and the fact that it's only number 8 really says something of what's to come. Number 7. Avengers Endgame Avengers! No! Speaking of epic, Avengers Endgame made the first Avengers film look like the minor leagues. Sure, it was put in a perfect position to do so by the similarly impressive Avengers Infinity War, but this one features a show-stopping finale that is Marvel Comics come to life. The film did a brilliant job of bookending 11-plus years of filmmaking in a way that's both cathartic and appreciative of the fans that made it possible. Not only that, it does service to character arcs in a way that's both masterful and realistic, making us shed multiple tears in the process. Also, is it just us, or does its time travel logic actually make a lot of sense? Think about it. If you travel to the past, that past becomes your future, and your former present becomes the past which can't now be changed by your new future. Exactly. Number 6. The Exorcist One of the few horror films that broke out both commercially and critically in the way it did, William Friedkin's The Exorcist reshaped the genre for generations to come. That the power of Christ compels you! Genuinely chilling moments abound, due in large part to stellar cinematography and a strikingly convincing performance from Linda Blair as a young girl possessed by a demon. Studio expectations weren't very high for this one, but a burgeoning popularity with audiences prompted expansion and re-releases, the latter of which was enough to place it on this list. Even nearly a half a century later, we can still hear that eerie Jack Nietzsche score, which gave the overall mood and energy of the piece the proper undertone of dread. Number 5. The Dark Knight I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. While its sequel, The Dark Knight Rises, similarly had the turnout and reception that might classify it for this list, The Dark Knight may forever be considered the quintessential superhero movie in an era of superhero movies. Also serving as a rousing crime epic, the movie spun a dynamic and unpredictable narrative about chaos and corruption worthy of the caped crusader's reputation. A little fight in you. I like that. Then you're gonna love me. <laughs> What's more, it gave us one of the most captivating and disturbing supporting performances in Heath Ledger's portrayal of the Joker, which saw him earn a much-deserved posthumous Oscar. In short, 
The Dark Knight is an eminently rewatchable masterclass in cinema that transcends its genre and onto this list. Number 4. The Godfather I want you to rest well in a month from now this Hollywood big shot is going to give you what you want. It's too late. They start shooting in a week. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. If you want to talk about mood playing an important role in relaying a story, look no further than 1972's The Godfather. Lifted from Mario Puzo's novel of the same name, this family-centric crime epic is about as powerful a movie as one could hope for. From the direction, to the score, to the acting, to the dialogue, the whole picture coalesces into something that is wholly palpable and compelling. Fredo, you're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again." Succeeded by an equally riveting part two that surprisingly only grossed about a third of the revenue, The Godfather sits perhaps atop director Francis Ford Coppola's illustrious filmography in terms of cinematic prowess. In short, watching it is an offer you can't refuse. Number 3. Jaws Yep, the king of all Spielberg masterpieces bests the others for the third spot on our list. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Often cited as the movie that made the concept of summer blockbusters a reality, Jaws quietly snuck up on an unsuspecting public until it caused a fervor that saw it claim its status as the highest grossing film from our previous entry. While perhaps more of a thriller than a horror movie, it still horrified audiences with sheer anticipation and that killer John Williams score. Say what you will of the special effects, but the set pieces hold up incredibly well, making any who watch it apprehensive of treading open waters. Number 2. Gone with the Wind If this were simply a list of the highest grossing films adjusted for inflation, this would sit at the top of the list. No, I don't think I will kiss you. Although you need kissing badly. However, even at number 2, Gone with the Wind remains a cultural touchstone in the history of cinema, and a cornerstone for that matter in terms of epic filmmaking. Captivatingly acted by Vivian Lee, Clark Gable and company, who chew up the scenery with every line, there is nary a moment in the 221-minute masterpiece that isn't suffused with sheer, hot-blooded passion. Even the set decoration is astounding in its own right, making audiences thankful it was released in full, breathtaking color. Fred, you go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. You know, I watched Gone with the Wind for the first time a few years ago, and to be honest, I was expecting to be bored, but I get it. I mean, it's obviously dated in some respects, but it is seriously worth watching. Now, I'm sure I do not have to tell you to give our number one pick a try, so let's run through the honorable mentions, and then we'll unveil our top billion dollar box office movie. Woody, he's been my pal for as long as I can remember. He's brave, like a cowboy should be, and kind and smart. But the thing that makes Woody special is he'll never give up on you. I'm, I'm so sorry. See, I, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Short-term memory loss. I don't believe this. No, it's true. I forget things almost instantly. I won't let you down. We'll know soon enough. You have a mission. Serve well and with honor. Don't parcel fly! Parcel fly! continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope Forget all the other entries, this movie changed filmmaking as we know it. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. 
While pretty much every live-action Star Wars film has retroactively crossed $1 billion save for Solo, it was this little 1977 sci-fi space adventure that could that captured the hearts and imaginations of all those who saw it. Somehow grounded in a farm boy's big dreams of a wider world, and impressive in scope the likes of which we'd never seen, this one set the gold standard for franchise starters forever. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He can go about his business. With a plethora of endearing characters, both human and droids alike, Star Wars weaved an intergalactic adventure that feels both avant-garde and traditional in its storytelling techniques. So engaging, we can't help but get swept up in its incomparable spirit. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.